Hello there everybody, Brian here, and welcome back to Trials of Mana. We got a lot done in the episode, let's see if we can go two for two. By the way, if you liked the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, and if you really liked it, consider subscribing. It's free, and you can get rid of it anytime you want. Anyways, let's get into this. Alright, so it looks like we're looking for the Elemental of the Moon. I forget what her name is. I'm sure we'll find out when we get there. I will take that from you. Thank you! Alrighty then. Use the fair. Ooh, ah, ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, I remember this. I remember you, little dude. The voos, the voos, golf fluke. I never have to take a boat ever again! Instead, I get to be on a giant tortoise! Next up, Dusk Moon Forest. We're counting on you, Buskov. There may be powerful beastmen that stand against us, so be prepared. <laughs> it's not a matter of if there's going to be powerful beastmen, it's a matter of when we get to see the powerful beastmen. Alright, let's get this done! Buskov, my buddy Boo! Oh, 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 oh my god, look at him go! He done be speeding through the waters with the greatest of ease. Oh, I can't go that way. Uh oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Where there beach, where there be a beach. There, where there be a beach, there be a way. Do, 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 do. Oh man, he got tired. Maybe I can park here, maybe? Can we stop here? Is this where we can get down? Can we get down here? No? Oh, oh man. Alright, fine. Be that way. See if I care. We'll find our way in there sooner or later. Maybe this will be a way in? Thank you, Vooskov! You're the man, man! We'll see you next time, but uh oh, that's not. We may end up seeing Vooskov again. So I don't know if we can get to where we gotta go from here. Um, yeah. Well, ha 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 Oh, that works so much better. Yes, thank you, sir. Righto. Welcome to the new city, which I wish I knew. The Moonlight Town Mintus. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you for stopping in. We appreciate your patronage and all that good stuff. Welcome, welcome. Please. Enjoy your stay. Don't cause any trouble for us, if you please. I was worried when we heard Beastmen lived here, but they aren't doing any harm. The townsfolk seem friendly, at least. It's not all Beastmen are bad seeds like the others. You just gotta be wary of the ones in Duskmoon Forest. That's because they're not transformed, they're not. But maybe if they were transformed, We'd have ourselves a little bit of a problem, we will. We would. But anyways, onwards and upwards as we as they say. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Oh, you are transformed. Okay. I'll take it back. They are transformed. Is it nighttime? Oh no. It must be morning. I think. <laughs> Too much to drink there, lot, eh? Maybe you ought to hold back on the pints you should. Right then. Let's see what we got here, shall we? Maybe we can find ourselves a little cactus here somewhere we would. 
Oh, we found ourselves a treasure chest already that we did. Let's see if we can find us a cactus. A little cactus gonna be around here somewhere now, you think, right? Cause he's just a little cutie that one is, he is. Right. Adventure on we shall. And if we find Oh we found the little cactus! Yes, look at that look at that little darling just sleeping right there. And he just a little cutie right there. Don't you just wanna go up there and scrunch his little cheeks? Right. Hello there, little cactus. You gonna wake up for me, love? You found a little cactus. Ooh. You know, being able to get that extra experience boost would be great. Even if it does happen occasionally, still would be nice to have, regardless. Now, where will this mighty road take us, I wonder? I imagine it's going to take us in a dust moon forest. Pretty. Oh, look at that. It's all the little Carls over there. Oh, how cute. Oh, they look like they're adult Carls to me. Moonstone is definitely in this forest. Angry beastmen in the forest. Humans should be careful. So should beastmen who have betrayed, betrayed them by traveling with humans. All right. Oh, that's scary right there. I'm a scared Tommy. They're gonna get me. Don't worry, Chucky. You'll be fine. I'll protect you. Oh, thank you, Tommy. That's why we're best of friends. Sorry, Carls. I don't mean to be rude, but you know. It's a dark Batmo. It's a dark Batmofo. Whoops, I go too far. Oh, aren't you a little sad there, Kevin? All these- There's a little cactus up there! Hello, little cactus. Can you see me? Can you see me? Ha ha ha, I see you. I'm gonna claim you sooner or later. You better watch yourself, because I'm coming for you. My little darling. Can I climb this? Oh, look at that, I can. Little cactus, you shall be mine, my little dude. Yes! Little cactus, come to me, my little darling. He found a little cactus. Yes! Some more time for prize! God, I'm so good at finding that little cactus. We'd almost think I'd have a thing for him or something like that. Or her. Or if it hadn't decided anything, I guess maybe we'll just call it, we'll call it whatever it wants to be called, I guess. <gasps> I found a little cactus again! Yes, we're gonna get stronger by the second! Yes. Thank you, little cactus. You're the best. I love you. Okay, so this is obviously where um, K 
Kevin's story began. Can't get in there because, you know, gate's closed. So, anyways, I've explored it. Now we can move on to our real objective. Oh, man, that next class is getting closer and closer by the second. Six and seven more levels, respectively. And we'll obtain that second class. I'm so excited. I can't wait to see what they are. Anyways, excitement aside, we still have work to do. So let's keep on keeping on, everyone. Let's keep the iron burning hot. All right. What is this? This does not look like Kevin's homeland. All right, here we go. Let's check it out. Cart moon, chart moon tower. Oh my. We're gonna be here forever, aren't we guys? Oh man, I don't know if I like this too much. Oh my goodness, who be this? Oh no, it's Kevin's father. Or that other guy, I forget his name. I don't care, all I know is that somehow, some way, this is gonna cause us trouble. Anyways, let's see what we got. You had no chance of defeating me! <laughs> oh, that was satisfying! <sighs> oh, don't bother with those pesky Altanans. I'll take care of this mess. Ludger, please do return to the palace. Yum, yum. What a veritable feast of souls for me today. <laughs> oh, delicious, delicious. I'd love to gobble them both up, but I suppose I must send one off to the masked mage. Our stores have run low, after all. We need many more souls to perform the forbidden magic if we intend to open the portal to the Sanctuary of Mana. <laughs> Can't let my master know that I'm taking my own share of the spoils. <laughs> Isn't the no good prince of Herolia? Have you returned home so soon? Lies! You lied! Said I could bring Carl back to life! <laughs> Fool! You are the one who fell for the falsehood! Such an innocent soul. You must taste sublime. Oh, I'm so glad I turned that wolf pup Carl against you. <laughs> I think you'll be my midnight snack. Shall I finish you off? Just like your friend Carl. <laughs> ha. Finish you off in one go. Stop! <sighs> Have you no manners? Can you not see you're interrupting my meal? Wait! I'll take care of them. I thought I saw that half Beastman traitor Kevin in the forest. I am not letting him get away from me! <laughs> Lovely! Be my guest. I was 
wondering where the heck that knucklehead was. Oh god, well you probably guys should probably be careful. I'm just saying. Say to you strike. Say to use the dragon, man. The dragon of the south. Who happened Suzaku? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, get away! Ah ha! Don't tell me he's got Byaku and Genbu too. If he's got Genbu and Byaku, I'm gonna be shocked. Well, maybe not as shocked as I should be. Oh dear. So, I feel like we have to be getting, like, towards the end of the... Well, okay, we're not getting towards the end of the game yet, but... I feel like we're starting to, like, whittle down the main enemies of the game, you know what I mean? We got rid of Bill and Ben. Uh-oh. Ah, uh, why you gotta bother me for? Ouch. That hurt. We got rid of Bill and Ben. Which was good. So now, if we... So are we gonna be getting rid of Luger now, next? Cause he was like... Well, I guess he's not really a bad guy, per se. Not one of the main bad guys, as far as I know, but... He's still problematic, all the same. Zaku. Ah, oh, no. Ah, oh, no. Okay. I hate those aerials that follow you. Really? I sure hope you're right. So long, Luger. You just got beaten by a half beast man and his friends. How do you feel now, sucker? Ah! <laughs> just you wait. <sighs> Luger. <clears throat> Kevin. I always hated you. Born a prince and specially trained in hand to hand combat by the king himself since you were young. Luger? I wanted the king to teach me what he taught you so badly. I, I loathed you and your good fortune. In the end, I was just another beast guard. Nothing more, no matter how hard I wished. Mm. But you, you hated fighting. All that talent wasted. I, I couldn't forgive that. You had everything I wanted and you didn't even care. I wasn't gonna lose to such a worthless prince. And yet... Luger, you are strong. Strong enough to be king. The same as me. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Just keep getting stronger. Maybe in my next life, I'll be able to defeat you. <laughs> Don't you dare lose. Before 
Yes, I've been waiting for your arrival. I will grant you my power. Luna! Help Ludger! Please, help! I'm afraid all I can do is grant his final wish. to save him is to give him another chance in his next life. He will now be reincarnated. What? Baby... is Ludger? Yes. He will grow big and strong. And one day, come to challenge you again. Okay. Baby Ludger. I'll wait. Challenge me any time. Um, is he going to be okay in the forest all alone? He's just a baby. Oh, babies are raised in the wild. The forest creatures take care of them. Until they are grown. Don't worry. He is safe. It is the Beast Man way. Incredible. Where is the Mana Stone, Luna? The Moonstone is on the first floor of this tower. Mages from Altaina came to try and activate its power, but Ludger and his guards managed to protect it. It's still inactive! Hmm. But that weirdo Gormon from before is in the tower now. We should go after him. Just in case. Why does it always seem like that's always the way? They never really hate each other, but one person always has what the other person's always had or craved. It's almost like a Sasuke Naruto thing where Sasuke had all the friends in the world and he wait a minute, is that right? What is what did Naruto have that Sasuke wanted so badly? I don't know. I don't remember. It's been such a long time since I've watched the series. But I know that Sasuke wanted to be Naruto and Naruto wanted to be Sasuke, yada yada, blah blah blah. Alright, well, I think Goromon is going to beat us up now, so let's see what happens. It's so strange to see the Moonstone just sitting here in the middle of a tower. I'm pretty sure this stone is the reason why it's always night in the surrounding forest. Boy, mana stones sure cause a lot of trouble. <laughs> Not sure I'd want to live my life in the dark like this. Oh, hey. What happened to that weird clown from before? Oh, that man was pure evil. He felt it. But I don't feel anything right now. He must have left. I would be able to tell if he was still nearby. So, wait a minute. <laughs> Let me get this straight. That Gormon guy, Belladonna from Navarro, and the Crimson Wizard from Altena are all after the Sword of Mana? They're all heading to the Sanctuary? Well, we've come this far. 
And, uh, I'd like to see that crimson wizard try and get past me now. Hmm. We still have to look for Dryad, the wood elemental. The hero king suggested we ask the elfin elder. So, we should go to the hidden elf kingdom of Dior. It's in Lamp Bloom Woods. Okay, so I am pleasantly wrong. And for that, I appreciate that. I love it when I'm wrong. Because that would have kind of been a bit of a pain in our butt. Just saying. So... Okay, we met our objective for the day, I guess. Let's get back to the... To, um... The town, and call it a day, I guess. I still feel like something, you know, uh, you know what, I'm gonna, I still think we're kind of getting closer to the end of the game. Because like I said before, usually when enemies start becoming, the main enemies start becoming more and more scarce, it's usually when the game is nearing its conclusion. Especially since we're about to find all the elementals. So I think they said Dryad is the last elemental we gotta get. So once we get Dryad, we're pretty much set in the shade, it looks like. And then I'm sure we'll have this all out battle for the Sword of Mana, yada yada, blah blah blah. Crimson Wizard, we beat him, yada yada. We show him that we're not the weaklings we were before. Kevin gets to do whatever he wants. And hopefully Reese eventually finds her brother. Because that would be kind of sad if he doesn't. She doesn't. Yeah. <sighs> But, you know, I gotta say, like, for everything that's been going on in this game, it's... I feel like it's kind of improved a little bit. When I was sitting around editing all this stuff, it just kind of, like, made me cringe a little bit. Because, like, some of the things that they did just didn't make any sense to me whatsoever. So it's like, why did you do that? Like, I'll take the scene with Bill and Ben that first came around. And they were going after Elliot, okay? So there's this one scene where Bill or Ben is like, Come on! Come on, kid! I mean, your majesty. Then all of a sudden they just walk forward, Elliot's walking forward, Bill and Ben are walking forward, and then it's like, Elliot's like, huh? And I'm like, why do they do it like that for? Why do they have them move forward and then have Elliot go, huh? And I don't know, it just didn't make any sense to me, but... A lot of things don't make sense to me, unfortunately. But it actually kind of does make sense, because... I noticed this when I was uploading it to YouTube and all that stuff like that. But, like, this game is like... I believe it's just a remake of the 90s game Trials of Mana, which would explain a lot about the voice acting in this game, which I'm, I'm not sure if uh, Trials of Mana originally had voice actors and stuff like that, but if they did, it would explain the awful voice acting quality in some cases, because damn, like, it's almost like that one scene where, uh, they're on the bridge to go to Valsena, and the one girl's like, Retreat! I'm just like, wow, could you have put any less emotion into that, honey? But yeah, so, I mean, it's just like, little things like that that are just kind of irking me. And I know it shouldn't, because it's just a game, but it kind of does. Assassin Eye? Oh, that's interesting. I haven't done this in a while either, so this is kind of cool. 
Miracle, ton oil, rich incense, candy, medical herb, candy, parpodal claw. Don't know what the heck any of that's gonna do for me in the long run, but. Tesla oil, vitality elixir, M string. Sweet baby mama Jesus. Heck yeah. Magic pot now level 3. Higher chances of enemies dropping seeds. Seeds have a higher chance of yielding good items. Alright. Cool. Let's take a nap. Welcome. Rest until evening. Alright, I guess that makes sense. I mean, it's dark dust moon forest after all. It's eternally night here. And I'll bet you that it has to do with Luna. I thought I'm going to blame her for anything, but you know what I'm talking about. Alrighty then, well. Alrighty then. Well, that'll do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now, everyone. Have a good one.